שום קבלה, אפילו של מצווה שקיבלנו עלינו, בין בלשון שבועה, בין בלשון נזירות, בין בכל לשון, וגם הנעשה בתקיעת קו, בין כל נדר okay. I'm here with my lovely bride, my wife Hillary, and um, as we are here, they have been celebrating, or they have celebrated Yom Kippur in Israel on the 24th of September. Now, the reason for this video, and you've, some of you have seen some of the other videos I've done, it's kind of interesting. You know, the calendar is kind of messed up, and um, I mean, we know this. I mean, there, the Jewish calendar, every 11 years, they have to add in seven times, like a month of Adar, and they have to correct the calendar because it's, it's messed up. The timing is off. And I was maintaining this year is the same kind of thing because, you know, riddle me this, Batman, um, as I've said before, Hillary, you know the answer to this. According to NASA and according to the ecliptic plane and when the sun and the moon cross the ecliptic plane for the autumnal equinox, in other words, in other words the first day of, of fall, when is that? September 22nd. September 22nd. Okay, so all the stuff about starting um, Rosh Hashanah on the 13th, on the 14th, on the 17th, some people insisting it was other days. All those days were still when? In spring, summer. In, in the summer. summer. Yeah. In the yeah. summer. Yes, thank you. So how do we have fall feast days beginning in the summer? So if we had Nadar added earlier in the year, then what should have happened was you have the equinox or you have the first day of fall officially beginning September 22nd. The first new moon after that time is October 15th. So we're, we meanwhile are doing all this now and as the video clip I showed introducing this thing. The secular Jewish community does things, does holidays well, the same reason why we do it here in the West is because... Good for the work week or good for, yeah. The holidays, How many, making money. Like you were saying also about there were 10 days. They needed to wait 10 days and they didn't. They didn't wait 10 days because if you got Rosh Hashanah on the 17th, why are you 10 days later having Yom Kippur on the 24th? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26. It's that funny math. What's that new math called? That stuff they're doing out here with the with the weird oh, gosh, funny math. The weird, yeah. Anyway, okay. So anyway, short video. I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. Um, the calendar is messed up. So sometimes when we try to pin dates and we try to stick dates, um, uh, we we certainly can't do it by secular measurement, and um, we we can't uh, we literally cannot even celebrate the sabbath on the same day jesus celebrated the sabbath because they messed up the calendar um way back hundreds of years ago and messed up the days of the week by three days so really if you want to celebrate the sabbath on the same day jesus celebrated the sabbath you better do it on tuesday facts so um I don't know. Apparently, the Lord does not keep, either the Lord does not keep the same calendar we do, because we're messed up anyway, um, or we still have time for Yom Kippur and Yom Teruah, and also Tabernacles this year, or everybody's pinning their hopes on a year that is not the correct year. We don't know for sure that Rapture is going to be on Yom Kippur or um, Yom Teruah. It kind of makes sense, it seems like, and we hope. But according to just the way the, the commands are in Leviticus and, and uh, the way the, um, the heavens were set up as far as when we're supposed to begin feast days, you know, like fall feast days in the fall, you would think that we'd wait till fall before we start so we'll see or we just keep praying we be faithful uh we always 
hope. We always have that expectation. We, the scripture uses the word eagerly. We eagerly await the Messiah, just as the bride eagerly awaits the bridegroom. So meanwhile, we go about the Lord's business and we be cheerful, we serve him and we honor him as always. God bless.